Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA did something yesterday in FIFA 23 that we have not seen them do in a very long time, and it's given me, at least, some of the good old days vibes and the way they used to release SBCs in a specific way in older FIFA. So we're going to take a look at that because that SBC impacted the market a lot, and we're also going to take a look at what could be impacting the market today because we have an icon SBC that's going away. It's that big 90-plus team of the year full birthday or prime pack. I'm going to open my second one on the video today towards the end, so make sure you stick around for that. But is that SBC going to be refreshed today? What else is going to happen today on Sunday? We're going to talk about all that and, of course, cover the latest market movements with a lot of fantasy cards and trophy titans from Team 2 dropping after yesterday's content. So we're going to take a look at that and more. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go back and look at the content that happened yesterday because it was actually a lot more exciting of a Saturday than normal. Exciting in the fact that we had two SBCs that we really have to look at. The first one is this Raul. This is a really good value Raul SBC. Five-star weak foot, 90 pace, 91 dribble, 93 shooting. I'm sure you've looked at this SBC and you've thought about whether you want to complete him or not. Finesse shot outside the foot, technical dribbler, flare trade. This is a really, really good, very usable version of Raul with especially the pace, the dribbling, and the five-star weak foot. The price, though, is the thing that really makes this SBC really easy to do. It's coming in at basically the same price as the Pires, and EA recently have been doing an absolutely incredible job with the Icon Player SBCs. Carlos Alberto, Pires, Raul, the latest three have all been very, very well priced. 63% upvote for this card. I love that it's out for the entirety of Team of the Season as well because these will all be SBCs that I will most likely be crafting during Team of the Season when we're opening a lot of upgrade packs and getting a lot of fodder so i'm excited to have this card to try him out it's not something that i really want to do right away to put in my team but i'm sure some of you guys are and that is a very nice card and a very nice price for raul now the big sbc this is the thing that ea have not done in ages they dropped yesterday an SBC called Throwback Winners, which, by the way, great idea, concept here from EA. But the thing that's crazy about this is a tradable pack. The entire uh, uh, the entire SBC with all of the SBCs inside of it, there's six different kind of uh, sections of it. It's all tradable, right? And that is something we have not seen in a long time. It really reminds me of the good old days of League SBCs where you got tradable packs uh, for every single segment of the SBC and then at the end of the SBC that you did. Now, these SBCs are not that easy to complete. It's actually, if you look at it, as we just saw in Footbin, it's about 55,000 coins to do this throwback winner's SBC from scratch. You get a 50k pack, a rare player's pack at the end, but you also get a lot of packs in between and a couple player picks, a 81 plus player pick that's tradable, an 81 double is tradable, jumbo premium gold player's pack, premium gold and a mixed. So this is actually a decent value SBC. It's not something that's like a must do. And I wish that we could do it more than one time. You can only do it once and then you can't do it again. If this was like repeatable once a day or once every two days, that would be really, really cool. Uh, because this is something that I wish we would see more of in this game. But it's still cool, right? A tradable pack, like that's the big thing here that we really do not see tradable SBCs just like this, like randomly dropped in the game that often, especially with six segments, right? Like I said, it gives me kind of the old old league SBC vibes. And I think a lot of us miss those right now. Just give us a player reward too. And then we'd be back to the normal league SBC vibes. But this has made some prices move on the market. First of all, tradable supply has meant some cards have gone down. We take a look at the trophy Titans from team two. I mean, we expect this to happen, but some of these guys have pretty big drop offs from yesterday and where they were at the content time, because you saw the lot of supply coming in for these cards. Van Basten, I sold him at 200,000 coins. He is now below 150. He was just in the 140s, so he's 150,000 coins flat. You've got a lot of cards like Joe Cole's hero card was uh, 110,000 coins on a little bit of a rise early on Saturday morning. He is now 80K. I mean, this guy was actually just 70K. Such a good card to trade with, with this Joe Cole. He's actually rising already. But if you take a look at so many cards in this game, Diego Forlan was, um, I think he was almost like 600,000 coins. And right now he's like 450,000 coins. You know, Raul might've affected his price a little bit, but there was a lot of supply that hit the market yesterday. You can also tell with fodder, right? Because if you think about it with these tradable packs, 
what are people most often packing from a 50k pack 83s 84s 85s and these prices i know we talked about in yesterday's video that they were very low and that we were investing they went even lower today you can see right uh, they were like low to mid 8k range last night 8.5k they went up to about 9k in the morning and then when that supply hit a lot of them dropped back down to the low 8k range 8.3k for a lot of these 85s 8.2k which basically just gives us another really great price for an entry point to invest in some of this low tier fodder if you bought fodder yesterday kind of like i did i have some club stocked fodder of course I am, I'm not worrying that I, maybe these cards are like one or 200 coins lower than what I bought them at. These cards are still really, really good investments. I would double down if you want to, or just, again, if you have not, stock your club with this fodder because after today should be starting to go up as we head into the week, as we get more SBCs and the supply ends, right? A lot of the supply, apart from that crazy, um, you know, unexpected surprise yesterday of the SBC of the throwback winners and the tradable supply up from that, a lot of the supply is weekly rewards on the weekend. So that's, of course, ending by the, tonight on Sunday into Monday, and we should have kind of the rise on fodder as we normally do, of course, depending upon today's SBC as well. So a lot of those prices went down with a bit of supply. Now, some prices went up though. And if you like trading with some of the low tier market on this game, there are prices right now that are moving like crazy. I think because of that, one of the Bundesliga segments requires like Bayern players in the SBC. All Bayern players right now are like 2,000 coins plus. So check your club. Uh, there's so many. I think it's like Serie A. Right backs are going for a lot. There are so many random gold cards that have exploded in price just because they are higher rated or needed specifically for that tradable um throwback winners SBC because there's a lot of hype for this man it really is a lot of hype for a pack like this you pack one of these icons or you know heroes that are in this promo right now and boom you make big money that's why there's a lot of demand for this and tradable packs we always love them so that's kind of what's going on with the market right now after that big SBC yesterday they also dropped the uh, premium pivot pack in the store which is again just kind of funny to go and see and look and dream about if you open this pack I mean you're not dreaming but uh, for those of us that are not going to spend the FIFA points or the coins which the coins would not be very smart to spend on this but if you really want to gamble 40 percent basically of an icon uh trophy titans player in this pivot pack 28 percent of a hero so uh pretty crazy pack odds there but 400,000 coins for that pivot pack that was dropped as part of content yesterday as well i don't think we had any objectives if we did it was something small we have the cup of course we have the daily dip still going on so that is very nice again we love the daily dip it's just like again free fodder play a couple games get your free fodder so with that being said the market yesterday besides the couple of movements that we looked at it wasn't that crazy of a day of course we know the trophy titans 2 cards have dropped off but they had their nice spikes early into the morning yesterday on saturday I think there could be some more movements like that today. I sold one Owen way too early yesterday. Sold the other one at 500,000 coins. He had a huge rise. Gerard went up into the 460 to 470 range. Uh, there were some really good movements. I bought a bunch of uh, Joel Coles, like I mentioned in last night's video, at 90,000 coins. Sold most of those for 110 to 115, right? Just to look at the footprint graph. This is such a normal fluctuation, especially with really hyped up brand new promo cards. Like the Owen went from 400K, had the spike to 500, and then came all the way back down to 340 and he's kind of going back up again some of these cards will potentially rise into today some of them are already going up i bought a couple gerards 318 wow gerard is still very very low he was down a lot from where he was yesterday again he went to 470 he's down he was 330 i picked up a couple at 327 and then now he's getting undercut now at 318 so he's very low i do expect a couple of these guys to rise up today Baresi is rare lampard i picked up one of so i think you'll see a few of them fluctuate today just because people want to try these cards out and there's still weekend league demand out there. Uh, but watch these cards. I wouldn't hold on to them still. I would say very quick flips. If anything, I don't plan to hold my Gerrards past content today. I will sell them beforehand 1000%. But look for some flipping opportunities on these Titans cards. Now, also yesterday, there were some games that were played. And some players, specifically from some clubs, didn't uh, win or they didn't uh, continue with their unbeaten streak, which was the case with Newcastle and Isak 
ESOC yesterday went from 470,000 coins all the way to 300k. And this is why, guys, on uh, ESOC's graph, this is why we talked about selling ESOC last week after he got his upgrade when he was 500,000 coins plus because I knew they only had one upgrade to go. We had to wait a couple weeks for it and team of the season was coming. And now if you sold then, you're really, really happy, right? From 470 all the way down to 300k. I actually picked up three of these at 300,000 coins and uh, I've sold a couple at 350, 360 already for lazies. He's rebounding back up because this is a really, really good card. This is a team of the season level card, right? And we do have team of the season upcoming. I'm probably going to take the quick cash here on this eShot card, but he is no longer alive. No more upgrades for him. That's his final card product in this game. But his card price dropped off because of that loss. Um, and he'll probably drop again heading into team of the season. But guys, this will be a really good card to watch during the team of the season promo. Now, the opposite happened for guys like Ruben Diaz and Emre Chan. They uh, satisfied another uh, requirement to get an upgrade, but they went up and then they went down. There's a lot of selling as people like, oh my goodness, these guys' prices should go up, right? Because they're going to get another upgrade. Well, Ruben Diaz went from 680, which was up, all the way down to 599,000 coins. I picked up three Ruben Diaz at 600 and below. And he is bouncing back up now. I am loving these cars because there was a lot of panic selling yesterday on them. I picked up some Emre Chan in the 190s. He has not rebounded too much yet. He's still about 198K. But these cards that are getting upgraded, I could see them moving upwards in price a little bit today. But that's kind of what's going on with the fantasy cards. A couple more play today. I think Alexis Sanchez might play today as well. I'm not entirely sure. 380, he's actually down a lot. Did he play yesterday? I'd have to take a look at Sofa Score. But uh, 380 for him seems pretty cheap. Uh, but just keep an eye on these cards, whichever ones you're watching. Oop Makano's getting an upgrade. Uh, Isak, again, is not. So, obviously, Saliba is not because he's not playing. But just keep an eye on those cards because they were moving a lot, of course. And today, more games as well. So, keep an eye on those. Now, today, Sunday, what are we going to have today on this game? We have one more leaked SBC that we have not seen yet, and that is Bonucci, right? We've talked about it the last couple of days. If Bonucci drops today and it's good value, it could move the market a lot. I know I've been saying it. I don't want to just talk about the same thing over and over, but this leak has been going around, and I do think it has potential. I know the leaked card showed 81 pace for Bonucci, so that would not be that exciting. But if he's got like 83 or 84 pace, and if he's a good price, he's got great links, and there would be a lot of people that would just drop this right into the team with the Juve links that have been released recently, uh, with like Rabio and Sandro and all the Serie A cards that have dropped. So keep an eye on some other Serie A cards today. Of course, a guy like Cordoba, just to mention it one more time, if you have this in your team, you want to be very careful with it because if a new card is coming out in the same position, I traded him last night on the video, right? Bought him at 148, sold him at 160 something. Uh, he's 150 right now. Just be careful with a card like this and watch your other Serie A links. A Bonucci, probably today, I wouldn't expect it to wait out any longer unless maybe EA have a surprise for us. But that could be an SBC upcoming today. And then, of course, the 90-plus Icon Pack, which I want to open here pretty soon, uh, is going away today. It's expiring. We had it last week on Saturday. Sundays, uh, when this is expiring, Sundays is the usual day where we get a new Icon Pack or some sort of upgrade pack. And again, this is another reason why I think that the 83 to 85 and even 86 is now with how cheap 86s are. I think those cards are a really great investment because either today EA is going to go with a big icon upgrade pack. They might just re-release this same 90 plus. They might allow us to do it maybe two times or maybe three times throughout the whole week instead of saying you can do it once and then it refreshes later in the week one more time. I, I think they could re-release this SBC at around the same price or I think they could drop maybe a little bit of a cheaper one, you know, a campaign bag or some sort of player pick along those lines maybe a year in review or something like that. I think those that's kind of like one of our two options for today's content, but I, I would expect to see at least one of those types of SBCs, either an icon upgrade, a hero upgrade, or like a cheap kind of like gamble pack. Sundays are kind of known for that. So watch out for fodder, of course, and let's rip ours open here. 90 plus prime team of the year, something foot birthday, something team of the year. It's a prime. It is, oh no, Spanish. Did I just pack? Ooh, Butra Gwenio. All right. I will take that. Uh, that is the best version of Butra, unless he gets like a Tots icon or something. I don't know if we're getting Tots icons, but I will take that. That is a nice card. And now thinking about doing the Raul SBC, I'm like, ooh, do I really have to? Five star weak foot, finesse shot. W card, medium low work rates. You know what? That's kind of, he's like the original rat before Ben Yedder was really the rat. 
That's, uh, that's a decent card. What's the current going price for a Butra Gueno? If that SBC, which, I mean, the cost on that Icon Pack was what? 450,000 coins? Butra Gueno is basically break even. He's about 440k. So we move, we take that. That's, uh, I guess, decent. Not too terrible. So I'm happy with that. But an SBC like that could very well be refreshing today. I think it's very, very possible. Then we get a pack like that. Uh, other than that, we still haven't seen some of those really big packs uh, like that Jumbo um, Jumbo Halftime or whatever it was. Some of the packs that we looked at, like that 75 rare, the, seven, the pack was 75 players in it. We have not seen that one yet. Uh, it's not this pivot pack. There was uh, another one of those like Jumbo something Halftime or Jumbo Ultimate uh, that have not seen time in the game yet. But when they do... I think there could be a lot of movement and a lot of supply drop. If they were to drop those today and then the drop fodder prices even more, <laughs> man, EA, please don't do that, man. We want to see these fodder prices going up because we are hoping, of course, for some news about team of the season warm up. And uh, Todd's warm up is still something we have to keep on our minds because I don't think it would start today, but I do think it's possible that it could start tomorrow because we do have another voting for team of the season starting tomorrow as well. So that's why. I'm being careful at the moment with cards that I'm holding, cards that I'm trading. I'm not really holding too many, and I'm just doing quick flips, guys. As you can see on my transfer list, flipping some of the new cards, some out-of-pack out of specials, the Cole, the Sokka that I had, selling some of my fodder at break-even, the Gerards that I picked up. Here's the Ruben Diaz, right? 580 for him, and then some of the other cards that I still have back here. I still have two Isak, actually. I'm listing at 350, and uh, I still have a Bird Camp, so... I'm just trying not to hold on to too many cards for too long, trading with the fluctuations because, again, at a moment's notice, it all could go crazy again with everybody getting scared about team of the season. So I'm going to keep doing my club stock here, and I'm definitely going to keep these cards in the club this time. 8K for Patrick Schick. Well, come on in. Get on the bids if you don't have a lot of coins uh, on some of those cards like we mentioned for like the Bayern players or I think like gold right backs in the Serie A. Low budget trading methods right now will be popping off. Um, if this is the case, if these guys are really, uh, 1.3 K, is that what these guys, 1.2 K for Serie A right backs, 1.1 K. So, you know, for that one, get on bids, 800 flip for 1.2 K, right? There's potential there. We look at the Bayern players, just go on footbin and sort by players. I can show you guys how to do this right now. If you want to trade on a low budget, just really, really quickly, something, you know, very easy to do is go down to the gold rare card design, gold rare, right? And then we're going to go by price low to high. Click it right here, and then one more time to get low to high. And then you can see here we're gonna we got like cards that are you know 650. Actually, we want to go from high to low. That's what we're gonna go to. And then we'll go by league, right? You can kind of click through here and find some combinations. You can find like okay, these guys are going for 8k now. Okay, 3,000 coins as we get past the fodder cards. All right, so Zambo and is 1.7. Looks like Syria center mids. Uh, are going for a decent amount. Oh, I know Serie A center attacking mids are going for a lot right now. That's probably why you see a lot of these guys like Mkhitaryan at 2.3k, Brahim Diaz at 2.3k, Pasalic at 1.3 so or 2.3. So I think that's uh, one reason there. But that's how you can go through at any time on this game. You can go through and find players on that lower tier that are selling for extra amounts. Or also check your club and make sure there's nothing in your club that you need to sell uh, that could be going for an extra amount. Amount. So we're going to hope for some good flips today on Sunday. The market should be alive and well. We probably have a little bit of impact coming with squad battle rewards. I think that would just bring another opportunity to get some really good fodder on the bids. And I'll try to make some successful flips with these Trophy Titan Team 2 cards, which are rare and they're down a lot in price. We'll see if we can make some flips on them today. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video soon, or maybe a stream. We'll see what comes first. I'm on the edge about today. We'll see if we stream, not 100%. But I'll catch you guys here at least for sure tomorrow. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.